If you've been on Reels, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts in the last couple of months, you've probably seen these type of subtitles or captions. And if you're wondering how you can do them as well, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you the easiest way to get these colorful and engaging captions and emojis into your videos. What's going on guys? My name's Alex Number from Real Broker, and I make videos just like this one every single week, educating you on how to better use social media and other tech tools to improve your real estate business. And with short form videos being all the rage as of late, if you haven't jumped on the trend already, you're probably going to want to do so. But because the short form video market is beginning to become a little bit more saturated, you need to do something to stand out. And that's exactly why you should be using engaging captions and images within your short form videos. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what you're going to want to do is go into the app store and it's actually going to look just like this one, which I already have, of course, but you're going to want to download it. Now there is a cost associated with it. So just hold up in case maybe it's not something you want, but I highly suggest it. So you're going to look it up and it is called captions. So it's this purple one right here. And if you don't have it, you're going to pay for it. I think it's about $15 per month, but I believe there may be a free trial. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, once you have downloaded it, you're going to want to go into it and hit create. And then you're going to want to import whatever video it is that you want to add these captions to. So for me, I have this one and we will just have it on. I have curses removed. I'm not cursing in my video anyways, but just leave the settings as they are and then proceed with English. And then it will automatically upload these captions for you. So we'll just fast forward until it is done. All right, so it is now done and we have these awesome captions in here. So what we're gonna wanna do is we can change the style if we want to. So there's a bunch of different styles in here. You can look at all the different presets. So if you wanna go more the Hormozy style, I know a lot of people like this style right now. Go in here, we'll choose Kang, that's great. And then click done. Now, obviously we don't want it if we already have a title in front, so we can change that. But if we want to have different colors popping up, we will go into the colors. And then in here, we will choose, so I'm gonna go with the blue. And now you will see that each line is a different color, which just makes it pop a little bit more. Now, how about the emojis? Well, we're gonna go into the AI edit button and then come down to the bottom here and we can turn those emojis on. Now, one little tip that I like to do here is I hit the settings button and I like to have my emojis down below just so I can have the words a little bit higher so they don't get cut off. But it will automatically, as you can see, input these different emojis into the video for you, which is awesome. Now, we wanna look through it and make sure that it's actually saying the right things, of course, right? Because it's very, very good at picking up what you're saying and it's usually 95% right, but we do wanna just take a quick peek to make sure it is all good. So we'll go back to the beginning and I wanna get rid of these. So what I'm gonna do is just scroll over to the right and turn off the visibility for all of these ones. I'll just quickly do that for you. There we go. So I've got rid of the ones in the beginning. So we'll just watch through it. And that's awesome. And sometimes the emojis don't necessarily show up as what you want them to. You'll kind of notice that, but most of the time they're pretty good, but we can then go into it. And so let's say we want to add an emoji somewhere, right? Let's say on goal, for instance, let's say on goal, we want to make it a soccer ball, right? So we hit this, we go on the left-hand side and we just hit emojis. And then usually we can type something in, boom, I can get a soccer ball. Now, when it says goal, that soccer ball is gonna come up, so that's awesome. Additionally, let's say we wanna change it. So think, I like that one, but maybe you don't like what that one is. So we just click, and then we hit the settings button, and then we could change it to whatever we want for think. So maybe we're gonna go with a thought bubble, for instance. Boom, exactly what we want. So. Once you watch it through and everything looks good to you, there's so many other things you can do. You can change the styles. You can make certain words highlighted. There's so many different styles you can do this in, but it pretty much does the work for you. As I said, you might have to make a few slight adjustments, but once you're done, hit the check mark. You're gonna wanna save it. And then we're going to export at the best quality option. You can change that, but I usually do this. Then we'll fast forward while it's exporting. 
Then boom, once it's done, I will show you the final product. So let's take a look. Here's a huge tip that changed my business forever. And I wish I had learned it way earlier in my career. It doesn't just work in real estate, it can be applied to any business. And it has to do with setting goals. Let me explain. Setting goals without a why behind them makes them far less powerful. So instead of creating the goal of selling 50 homes this year, change the way you think about it to helping 50 families. By doing so, you create a real emotional connection to the goal. And on the days that you aren't feeling up to it and you just don't want to get out of bed, this will be a far greater driver than just adding another check mark to your tally. Boom, so that's it. So how easy was that? If you combine this with the previous video of doing your editing and then adding these engaging captions and emojis, it just takes your content to another level. Because again, what I like to remind people of is we have such short attention spans, you really need to have some sort of pattern interrupt. So that can be the text, the changing of colors, the emojis, changing of background, whatever that may be, to reset people's attention span every eight seconds. Now, if you don't wanna use this software, there are some other ones out there. I know that Adobe Premiere has something similar However, that is pretty expensive. And personally, I think $15 a month isn't a bad investment, especially if you're gonna be making a ton of these videos. Solely for the fact that it saves you so much time from actually just typing them out yourself. And because they're so much more engaging than something like Instagram or TikTok's automatically populated captions. So hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did get any sort of value whatsoever, all I ask is that you hit that thumbs up button so the algorithm will push it out to more amazing people just like yourself who wanna learn more about marketing with real estate. And if you are interested in seeing more videos just like this one, I suggest you consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're here, head over to our channel to check out another video on social media marketing tips for real estate agents. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out or you can leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.